friends, it's Dulce Sloan, correspondent for The Daily Show. Before we get into today's episode, we want to know, what do you want to hear us argue about on this podcast? Drop a comment on any hold-up clip you see on The Daily Show's Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or YouTube pages. Or tweet us using the hashtag, hashtag holdup. Let us know. Hey, I'm Josh Johnson, right from The Daily Show, and this is Hold Up. I'm here with my co-host... Today's topic is sweet potato pie versus pumpkin pie. And tell the people, let them know. First of all, I'm a good person, okay? So you know for a fact that I picked sweet potato. Because ain't no way on God's blue marble that I'm going to act like that I am going to be eating something that people carve faces to. Okay? The only time anybody messes with that vegetable, with that squash, okay? With that ground-dwelling, vine-climbing, orange vegetable is from November to December. People ain't thinking about pumpkin the rest of the year. It's like, oh, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is not made for pumpkins. It's just nutmeg and and, uh, and, and, uh, may, and other stuff. It's just the season that we put on pumpkin and also we have called it pumpkin spice but i've had a pumpkin pie and pumpkin spices ain't in that pie the spices ain't good and don't act like oh they equal to each other oh you know that we can't you can't even tell you can tell look at who's at that party look at who's at this kit together okay whatever the majority is that's what that pie is that's what that pie is i'll just say it I'll just say it. Okay. And, and, and. So my mother's allergic to pumpkin, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so we got a sweet potato pie from the store one time. I guess this was in Atlanta and the pumpkin wasn't selling. They had snuck the pumpkin into the sweet potato. Because my mother was eating it. She's like, my tongue itches. My throat itches. I was like, wait, what? She said, what's the ingredients? And she's like, wait, we cooked everything else. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, what's the ingredients on that pot? Because we started trying to figure out what it was. And these bastards done snuck pumpkin into this good Christian sweet potato pie. So that lets you know that they're trying to hide pumpkin. They try. This is the cheese. You know, this is the, they're trying to put the broccoli in. Okay. Just because you put cheese, you put, try to put cheese on the broccoli. Okay. That's what this is. Stop making that face, okay? I'm making I'm making that face because even in the example you're using, broccoli is still a good thing. Broccoli is delicious. What I'm saying is that, but a lot of people don't like broccoli. A lot of people don't like Brussels sprouts. Like my big in college, she doesn't like broccoli because she says it's like licking the afro. I don't agree with that. I love broccoli. Also, I have an afro. Um, that, yeah, that's a genuinely insane thing to me. Like I I I kind of understand what she's trying to say, but no. Nah. Listen, I was 18 at the time. It sounded crazy then. I'm 39. It still sounds nuts. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's Aaron Kennedy, okay? I was not here for it. So what I'm saying is that pumpkin is so disliked and so undersold that they had to slide it and sneak it in as a filler in a sweet potato pie. Because if pumpkin was so good on its own, it wouldn't have had to slide it in there and try to kill my mama. Listen, they should not have snuck in pumpkin into a pie that was not supposed to be pumpkin i'm with you on that also especially because people have allergies what i will say how many times have you been at a dinner have you been somewhere and you look at the table and like you said you, you said look at the people you'll know the type of pie but i'm saying let's keep it on the pie for a second let's keep it on the actual color okay. and hue of the pie okay when you look at a pie that mm -hmm. could be sweet potato or it could be pumpkin. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me you know with 100% certainty which type of pie it is. You know, these pies are very close. They're barely, they're barely, barely edging each other out. With homemade, you can see the spices, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With store-bought, you're still on a sweet potato pie, you can usually see the spice. Like, you'll see a little bit of the spice, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but store pot pies is very hard to distinguish between the two because they do end up being similar colors. But sweet potato pie is usually darker, but because of the spices. 
there are more nutrients in a sweet potato pot, in sweet potatoes, than there are in pumpkins. Now, some people try to say that there are less, there's less sugar in pumpkin pies versus sweet potatoes, but I really feel like that has to go down to just the recipe because I don't, un- of course, there's going to be less sugar in a pumpkin pie. A sweet potato is sweet. Mm-hmm. And also, if you're sitting up typing in what is a healthier pie, <laughs> Um. Yes. If Bitch, you are, like, like, if you are at the pie section of the grocery store and right. you go to Google, which is the healthier pie, just take a step back and mm-hmm. realize it's all pie. It's all pie. So even if you grabbed an apple, you're getting some sugar. You're getting you're getting some pastry. You're getting some very buttery base. Listen, that's why people on keto. I did not know that people on. Keto and stuff can't even have fruit. So what is that? Because uh, one of my friends just started keto and said that he can't have fruit. And what? why is that? I think keto is just Atkins. It's just South Beach. It's just one of those things. First of all, when I started dealing with my first nutritionist back in 2018, it's like, you know what? Just working hard to keep my neck. As you see, I have one. <laughs> you hoes. <shot. laughs> You thought that girl was going to lose her neck in a panty dropper, in a pandemic, in a Panasonic, in a panorama, in a Popeyes? Nah, bitch. <laughs> Any who's. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I put okay. on my, wearing my minks, uh, my chinchillas. Uh, we all know this is very Also, fake, just very... because you bring a mink doesn't mean you're right. Okay? Don't okay, don't do first, this thing now in future episodes where you try to dress up and then flex as if you don't have to make your points and stuff because because that's so disrespectful to show up, not give me any warning, right? So already you don't say anything. You, you just let me show up in a regular shirt, but then you're like, I'm going to bring a mink. This feels like when somebody invites you to a party and don't tell you it's formal because then you show up in a mink and then you start talking down to me about my choices. And okay. this feels like a setup. <laughs> Listen, first of all, this is from Torrid. This is not a mink. This is very flammable. Okay. <laughs> this is very flammable. This is what the kids call the faux fur. All right. Mm-hmm. I have, I've, I've, ac- I've acquired real only because I was bullied into it. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is just because, because of the lights and the equipment in this room, you have to keep it chilly in here. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I'd be butt ass naked by the end of this podcast every time we do it. Mm-hmm. So no, I will judge you in anything, nigga. I'll judge you in a wifey, okay? <laughs> I will judge you in somebody else's t shirt. So don't think that me coming out here. Oh, you didn't even, and it's on the slip, on the sleeves too. Come on, baby. Just because I'm wearing my poncho, don't mean that I'm not here for the judgifying and critification. I'm always here for the judge of fine and the critification. You know that about me, Joshua. Okay? That's why we I'm, are such good friends. Because you try to act like that you ain't here for the judge of fine and the critification, but you know you are here for the judge of fine and the critification. Yeah, but I'm saying don't rest on your laurels, all right? Because I've, I've seen it mm. before. Sometimes it happens with rappers. I don't even Sometimes. know who she is. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're like you're like was, truly you're like truly a menace. Uh, so, <laughs> it, it um, I went to college with a girl named Laurel all the time. All right, what do you mean? There, there will be rappers who really come through that first few albums, and then they really get their money up, and then they start wearing well, and the music mm. suffers. All right, are you trying to say that my points are suffering? Because I was chilly? They, I'm saying they could in the future. All right. If we get you know into what? a that pattern means that, of flexing. Okay. That means that the next time we do this, I'm going to have to wear my fo- my crystal fox poncho and dunk on you the whole time. Why would you make me do that? Why not let me sit out here in my faux fur and whatever fabric this is? This is from Torrid. Okay. This was also free. They sent this to me. And I'm very I, excited about it. But don't think, don't think. I'm very happy for you. 
Listen, I've got on a Skims bra. I don't even know what it's doing. But my titties aren't far. Haven't gone south for the winter. We in here. I got three hooks on a bra. Last time I had three hooks on a bra was the Clinton administration. What I'm saying is, just because your friend is out here wearing free, moderately priced clothing. Okay, this shirt, also from Torrid, also free. Shout out to Torrid. So what I'm saying is, <clears throat> just because your girl is trying to be warm in my studio, okay, does not mean that I cannot be making valid points. I'm not saying it doesn't mean that you're not making valid points. I'm specifically saying, you know, just make sure you always come through with the with the same energy, you know? Negro, I'm drinking out of a soup cup that I punched a hole in for a straw. So don't act like... <laughs> Honestly, it's the best way for me to keep up with my water intake. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you know exactly the size of the cup, and yeah, no, I'm with you. And it's just fun. I don't know why I like it. I like a big cup. But also, Yeah, but also I mean, the, the structure of the lid, you can really, like, pinch the top. Right, and so, because I have, like, this very fancy color changing, like, those really, like, fancy cups that they have, like, the double insulated. Mm -hmm. I had one for my birthday. It would change colors when you put, like, something ice cold in it. And then one day, it f I went to reach for it. It fell out of my fridge. Exploded. It's like 15 bucks. This came with wonton soup. And it's strong as hell. So. Yeah, it's very strong. I can hear the ice from here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my mom, like I was like, I think a year or two into doing stand up, came to one of the open mics. And usually they mm -hmm. make you change if you have a glass glass. They make mm -hmm. you change to a plastic cup, but they let my mom keep her glass because it's my mom. Mm -hmm. And this comic went up and he was bombing. Bombing. And my mom was like twirling. <laughs> Just sitting there doing this. And this guy goes, Am I getting heckled by ice? And my mother goes, yes, yes, you are. I don't remember who that comic is because I don't think I saw him again after that. I maybe saw him a few more times, but yes, he got heckled by ice. He was doing so bad. That's either the origin story of the next biggest comic in America or yes. someone who just started doing hedge fund work because they were like, this isn't for me, you know? What, what, well, Brian, what happened? I went back and got my master's because... Uh... I got heckled by frozen water. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not the profession I need to be in. I, but, yeah, yeah. Anytime it's quiet enough that just the elements are at play. <laughs> bro, ice on when, glass. Whenever it's cold enough that you can just hear wind outside. <laughs> I want to get back to this topic at hand because this this is like the state of the union address okay i i understand and i also understand the history of why of, of why sweet potato is a staple i'm not disrespecting sweet potato pie it's the ancestors joshua i'm i'm just saying the that ancestors for me, i'm saying for me it is a 49% to a 51% I love both of these pies. You give pumpkin pie a 51? But I will steal I, your shoes. I, I will am, steal your new medical I shoes. And I, saying I that it slightly edges out for me. Tell Very, me how. Tell me how. Tell I me how. Think, I think that some of the sweet potato pies I've had, especially the ones that were homemade before, have had just not the right texture because just like pumpkin sweet potato if it's too if it's too like soupy if it's too you know what i mean if it's too loose when it's going in you barely have a pie you've got like a bunch of thick thickened up soup in crust okay so if you're putting sweet potato pie in a crust and it's not like a batter because a batter is a batter and a batter we know will hold to a spoon it's that like you're talking to someone who one year I made between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I made 30 sweet potato pies. Oh, you told me about this. Yeah. Yeah. And my mother was selling them. Mm hmm. It was supposed to give me the money or some of the money. 
And then I never didn't get any of the money. She said at one point I had an allowance, but I never saw it. My mother bought me a hand mixer because I used to make like cakes and stuff and my mom would sell them at work. And mm-hmm. then the money would somehow just get reinvested in the cakes, right? So I was never mm-hmm. paid for my labor. But you know, I'm a black child. So when was, my mother said make the cakes, I made the cakes, right? Mm-hmm. And so I make cakes for the house or cakes for the friends, you know, aunties and stuff like that. And so I was making sweet potato pies and I was just mash. I was you, bo- you know, you cook them up. I'm mashing straight sweet potatoes. I didn't like the masher wheat, like the, ma- you know, like a sweet, like a potato masher got them big holes in it. So it wasn't mm-hmm. doing the work that it needed to do to get down the context, the consistency that I needed. Mm-hmm. I just had a pla- a little white plastic cup. Mm-hmm. And I'm just mushing and mushing and mushing. I made this before we had an electric mixer. So I just had two forks and a strong elbow. Mm. Mm. Okay, out here breaking these pies down, and they were delicious. Okay, mm-hmm. I made, but yeah, probably between like 30 35 pies between Christmas and Thanksgiving. And I was like, I still have to go to school. I was like, Mom, it's child labor. She said, Well, I'm, a, I'm selling them at work. I was like, And I was one day, I was like, Mommy sold out a pie. She said, Yeah. I said, Oh, how much did you make off of selling the pie? She's like, What you mean? <laughs> so, mommy, in my allowance. Oh, we gotta make more pies. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm, wow. I'm not gonna. That's an early lesson in. <laughs> Which was yeah. wild because, like, I'd had like other businesses, and she'd help. She, I was like, I don't know what it was. I think eventually she gave me like a couple of bucks. I think she gave me like thirty five dollars, mm. but I'm just like, I only made a dollar a pie. And yeah. she's like. You know, Christmas. <laughs> Which like, is what? not actual reasoning. That's, that's no. amazing. What has a black parent really gave you great reasoning on stuff before? I will say this is what happened to me to explain so that you see where I'm coming from. Yeah, when because I have like to... nostalgia. I've got flavor. This is a family yeah. recipe. But I've also had other sweet potato pies. Like, listen, like people in my family can cook, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you're coming from an experience where people are making homemade pies, Mm-hmm. that were either too wet or too dry or they're not doing what they need to be doing. They're not doing what the kids say, giving what they need to give. Mm-hmm. I understand that you would have these instances where like, I'm not particularly fan of this because of personal experience. Like I, to this day, can't eat a runny egg mm. because they made us paranoid of raw food. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So like, First of all, just the salmonella and eggs is like for you know, cause long time for black people, we did that's why we had steaks well done and stuff like that. But that yeah, comes yeah. from a history of us being sold the worst quality meat. So if you didn't have it cooked all the way, you'd get sick, right? Yeah. So I'm just now learning to get that this was out of a necessity and not because of this like we that's why we season stuff, because we didn't have the best quality meat. Also, that's just genetic. So, I mean, yeah, so I understand that like, you've had an f- experience where you're like, so for me, it's, hey. that, that that's exactly it. It's like in life, I've had great homemade sweet potato pies. I've had good store bought sweet potato pies, but I've also had bad sweet potato pies so mm-hmm. far in my life. Even though it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite out edge the best sweet potato pie I've ever had. I've never had a bad pumpkin pie, mainly because they've been store bought. But so I have had some homemade pumpkin... pumpkin pies that were good. Okay, so you've had more homemade sweet potato pies than you've had yes. homemade pumpkin pies. Yes. And Cause you... Okay, because you know... It, it, had, mm, it, it hit wrong a few too many times. You want to talk about runny egg? Yeah, if you cut into a pie like that and it there's any type of liquid... And it gives up? Yeah. I can't say the thing that always confused me about sweet potato pies is that when you make a sweet potato pie, especially like a blender or something, there are strings in it. It's a fibrous vegetable. I've never understood a lot of time when you have the pie, where did the strings go? I guess they just cook out or. Well, I think they just really get as close to dissolving as they can. I know, but that was the thing that always confused me as a wee girl and as a grown adult lady. 
Um, also, I think I'm confused about pumpkin pie because I've just never enjoyed the flavor of sawdust. So, I guess I just can't wow. quite understand. What? Wow. No, 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 what? no, no. No what? No what? You know exactly what you did. You would be looking up like that if you didn't know what you did. I'm A real my... what is like, what? what? You did what? What? <laughs> No, no, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. What does it say? Because the thing is, it's like, I feel like the the spices you put in a pumpkin. Mm-hmm. I can tell you, I've had a pumpkin spice beverage and had a slice of pumpkin pie. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't seem like any of the spices that were in a pumpkin spice beverage or even the spices that you smell in a pumpkin spice candle don't end up in a pumpkin pie. So where do these spices get put? Not always. Not always. So... Some of them do. Some of them have like a special, what you know, whether it's topped with a little bit of whipped cream and then some pumpkin spice on that cream, or whether they top the entire pie with the spice. It's not supposed um, to be topped with spice; it's supposed to be mixed in. No, it it is. It is. You're not wrong. I'm just telling you where the spice goes sometimes because I felt like that was the question. It was. Now, what I can't listen. What I really wish we could debate which I don't think we'll ever have enough people to do is a sweet potato pie versus a bean pie. That I, yeah, I don't know if we'll ever really get there. Cause I, first of all, I'd have to eat both in the same week or day Mm -hmm. to really like fresh, refresh the palate's memory. And then we'd also have to really go in. One second. Are you getting a fax? What the hell was that sale? That's the uh, door for my apartment. Oh, I was like, Josh getting faxes over there. That nigga doing real business. Uh, you know, maybe one day. <laughs> maybe, maybe in the future if we're blessed. Uh, the last time I sent a fax was 2010. I was trying to send in my timesheet to work. I worked for a tip <laughs> agency. You had to get your timesheet signed. And then there were just every Friday, there was just somebody who would round up everybody's timesheets and then we have to go get them signed and then fax them. And I just, every time going, we have the internet. Yeah, hey, we have email, you Why know. Why the fuck are we doing this? Or sometimes like, well, don't fax them. Just scan them into one file. And I'm like, why? Yeah. Everybody knows, was, I logged into a system to fucking be here. Why am I faxing anybody? The fax machine was also kind of cool when you think about it. Because it was just yeah, like printing someone else. I appreciate the else's. technology when it was at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember we had, like, we used to be able to get a printer fax scanner. Mm-hmm. And you would have a fax machine at your house. And I was like, I don't know why we need this, but we're going to need it. And when we do need it, it's going to be great. Because my mom used to work at Kinko's, and so many people would come in having to fax something. If you don't know what we are talking about, that means you are probably under 32. Yeah. Wait, Josh, how old are you? 32. <laughs> hey, right on the line, baby. Joshua uh, just made it. He might have even use a rotary phone before. Not, not, uh, not quickly, but yes. Well, we want to kick this to you, the listener. All right. I, I listen. I stayed on task, didn't I? Because you never proved all it was better. All you said was, "I've had bad homemade sweet potato pies, so pumpkin is better." Yeah, that. At, at what point were we supposed to come through with data? All right, <laughs> we've been I'm doing the show saying, for quite that's a, a while week, now. That, that's a weak argument. Usually, you, you, you as a weak argument. They look it, almost identical. They have the same texture. All right, that is I'm not true. The texture of a sweet <laughs> potato or pumpkin <laughs> pie is the same. You know, I had a friend in college who wouldn't eat. Uh, like apple or peach or anything like that because she didn't like cooked fruit. This all also the same girl that said uh, celery is just crunchy water. So, so uh, she was real know. country too. I never understood. Like, uh, yeah, I, she was a black girl that was so country that she wore Dixie Outfitter shirts. I don't know if this person <laughs> is an innovator. Or has been left so far behind. Like th- this is this is this is someone who we either need to be researching and taking mm-hmm. notes from, 
or we need to be researching and avoiding the thoughts of. I can't tell you that her name was a conversation of her mama and daddy's name. So whenever you get one of them situations, then I hope she's doing well. I hope she's living the life she wants to live, serving the God she wants to serve. Um, I just was like, but apple, a pumpkin. Listen, mm. I do have a quick question, though. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about cobbler? You know what? Mm. That's a different episode. Okay. All right. Okay. That's a okay. different. I can't, but I can say that I think this hits home on, I think because sweet potato pumpkin pies, because they come out when they come out, right? Especially mm-hmm. pumpkin being the one trick pony that it is. <laughs> you know, getting your little jabs in whenever you can. I'm sure it feels good sitting up there with your minks. All right. <laughs> No, no, no. I get it. I get it's it. It's called a fink. Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Foaming. What, a fink. Whatever you want to call it. I, I see I see you there. All right. <laughs> I see you talking down on the pumpkins. I see you <laughs> in all your hubris. All right. <laughs> hubris? <laughs> in all of your hubris. Listen, like the you sweet can't potato- possibly be wrong. <laughs> The sweet potato out here living a year round life. Okay. They are doing so much with the sweet potato. They're turning it into chips. Okay. They're, we are roasting them. We are making them a summertime salad situation. The sweet potato is out here doing the work that the pumpkin could never do. Okay. There how is, about this? How about maybe pumpkin is out here once a year because it's not common, it's not cheap. Okay, but it's it it's true. a selective. It's a selective. Mm. It's a selective spice. It's a selective tree. No, okay, you have to listen. You can't keep bringing up the spices. You can't keep bringing up the spices because pumpkin spice is not made out of pumpkin. It is made to season pumpkin. What's used to season the sweet potato? Nutmeg and other regular things that you put in a pie. So I feel like this is a moot point as far as is that a the pump- sweet potato is that a also new- getting spiced. We're going to see what's in pumpkin spice. All right. Pumpkin pie spice, also known as pumpkin spice, is an American spice mix commonly used as a flavoring from pumpkin pie, but does not include pumpkin as an ingredient. Mm-hmm. There's no pumpkin in it. So it's generally a blend of ground cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and sometimes allspice. Okay. Now, do you, are you, because basically a lot of those spices are the same ones that go in sweet potato pie. So, if the spice profile Mm -hmm. is the same, Mm -hmm. then what's giving you the flavor is the actual vegetable itself. Because at the end of the day, we have to remember, these are vegetable pies. Yeah, yeah. We pick it, somebody sat up and was like, okay, that vegetable, because there's no regular potato. We're not doing this with a regular potato. Mm-hmm. We're not doing this with butternut squash. Mm-hmm. We found whatever works. Rhubarb is just red celery, and I'm still not sure what we do with that. Because we're doing the same spices, that means that is the flavor of the sweet potato or the pumpkin itself. And that's I letting think, you know it's delicious. I think I've made my position clear. I'm not saying one is trash and one is amazing. I'm saying that it slightly edges it out for me because of my past experiences. And now I want to hear from you, the listener. What do you think? Do you go pumpkin? Do you go sweet potato? All right. I'm not going to judge you and act like you're crazy for picking either one. This isn't a situation where Dulce and I are diametrically opposed. I'm just saying this is how I feel. I think pumpkin pie is awful. You like both of them. Yeah. That's where we are. But I wasn't, we're not at a thing where we both think the other ones is trash, is what I'm saying. We've had much more heated debates about the thing than this one. You know, there are things that you like that I hate. And we've proven that you were wrong on all of those fronts. Grills are trash. All right. Grills are terrible. Why do you... (laughs) Why are you going against people who are blessed? Ble- the chain is perfectly fine. Show the people you're blessed without having to, you know, the gold open your tooth? entire mouth. No. Yeah. Listen. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. How better? There's so many ways to display that you're doing all right. 
right? There's nothing, listen, the best part of the grill is the fact that it's removable, okay? It's not a permanent gold tooth. This ain't an uncle in the 80s, all right? You're not selling crack, destroying your neighborhood in a new leather jacket, in a BMW. A oh, chain you is even more easily removable. I've seen, I've seen grills get stuck. Listen, we were in chains for so long, Josh. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't actually agree with that. I don't actually agree with that. But people who were like have that def- have that argument against chains were just like, I would never wear something that would bother you. You're like, bro, shut up. If you're broke, you're broke. Don't act like that you don't that's wear a, a chain. A, that's a big of... Brooklyn thing. That's right. a big, they'll be on the intercom in Brooklyn talking about they had us in the chain and now you want to buy the chain so you can wear the chain in front of the people that put us in the chains, right? And it gives me the same energy as like, look, if you want a chain, what you going to have to do? Hmm? What you going right. to have to lay down? Hmm? What you have to you have to put in that time, you gotta put in that sweat. The chain is made of sweat, all right? Sweat poured together turns to gold because that's the grind. Damn it. Yeah. I gotta make sure that I don't say anything. It'll be Yeah, yeah. You just teed me up. Every episode you've been really (laughs) handling it. So what sweet potato things? How can I grind to turn these sweet potatoes? In the diamonds, Joshua. Tell the people. Tell the people how they can be out there using these pies. Look, let me tell you something. If your sweet potato pie is not turning to gold, you haven't put the oven up high enough. Okay? (laughs) All right? And if you can't put your oven up any higher, you need to grind till you get a better oven, till you get that (laughs) stay of the art, till you get that new new. Okay? This makes me so sad. I don't understand why people are out here still asking these questions when the book's already been written. All right. (laughs) I hate this guy. No, just look, just grind, just work, and it'll all work out. Okay. This new Josh has too much power. Oh my God. (laughs) Listen, I know this is a highly contentious highly debated cultural argument in these here United States of America. But just know, stick with your people. Okay. Stick with your people. If you out here supporting sides, you know, you have no business supporting. That's between you and your mama. Okay. But just know who you are, where you come from. And make sure you support the right side. You can have your opinion. You can think what you want to think, but you know what? You're wrong. And just so you know, you can you can be with your people. You can love and support your people without going with the herd. Okay, so if you wow. if you had a situation, if you had wow. a situation in your life where something wow. did you a little dirty and you Ooh. don't love it as much as other people, that's Ooh. okay too. All right, that's all Ooh. right too. Okay, Ooh. if you if you've been done truly dirty by a pastry and mm. you don't really love it the way that other people love it, you don't mm. deny that it's good. You just say, hey. I'm out here. I've had different experience. All right. I'm saying well, maybe, I respect that. Maybe my experience comes from the fact that Pumpkin tried to kill my mama. Okay. And has been out here trying to kill my mama since day one. <laughs> so we just right. want to thank you for listening to Hold Up. Uh, yeah. If we're, you were we're the only truth tellers in us. the world. Yeah. We're the only yeah. truth tellers <laughs> in the world. We're the only ones talking about what needs to be talked about. Pumpkins plantains lasagna okay we're the only ones telling people why uh club bangers are better than anything that's out in the streets right now that's okay? not what we said that's exactly okay? what that's we said what, that's not what we, we said as a whole said. that's that's, not listen, a that's what we're talking about thought. that's what we're talking about look at these episodes go back find find your way okay mm-hmm. get your mm-hmm. scorecard together okay get your hold up scorecard together and see where you stand are mm-hmm. you on the right side of history or do you agree with Josh? That's what you have to figure out. Mm, mm, mm. Josh, you want to wrap this up for the people? If you are looking to catch up with us on any of the socials, you can find me at Josh Johnson Comedy on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, at Josh Johnson on Twitter. And if you're looking for Dulce, 
You can find me on all the social medias at Dulce Sloan, D-U-L-C-E-S-L-O-A-N. Uh, my name is Dulce, not Dolce. My mother went to college. And we got dates coming up, which you're going to hear at the beginning and end of the podcast. But look, at, listen, look, look us up. Listen to us. Come see us in our city. Thank you for all the people that came out to my show in Chicago. And thank you for the people that have been coming out to our shows and telling us that they're big fans of Hold Up. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And we hope you have an amazing rest of the weekend. We finally got a piece of the pie.